Hello folks, I'm back with Nigel and we're at his, well, we're going to have, take a look around his plot one and two. The, um, this is plot one, the original plot that he uh, purchased, this is what he's actually bought. Uh, the other plot on this side is rented. Um, so, going to fill us in a little bit, Nigel, what's been happening. Okay, yeah, mm. uh, when I took this plot over, it had been looked after reasonably well, but the ground was very badly compacted. And uh, so I, I started doing a little bit of digging and putting manure in. And we did a short video on a windy day a few months ago where um, we just wandered around and saw the little bit of progress I'd made. Uh, now I've managed to get a shed up. You can point at the shed if you want, Julie. Um, that's going to be quite useful. It's nice to have somewhere warm and out of the rain. Uh, you know, on bad weather days. Yeah, I've noticed you've put it on pallets. Can you tell us the story behind that? Well, it's not actually pallets. I've, I made a very, very strong um, wooden framework. I bought the timber to make uh, that, that framework at the bottom. Right. And then before I put the shed up, um, I got that absolutely level. Right. Using uh, a spirit level and um, bricks and blocks underneath. Okay. And then it was a very simple matter just to put the shed on the top of it. Right. Um... Have you thought, it, is it solid, the wood underneath, or is there gaps? Because um, one of the no, things you've got to, gaps. yeah, one of the things you've got to be careful of, especially with that distance of the, from the bottom wood to the top, yeah. is uh, rodents and, and such animals digging under there and causing eventually the thing to collapse. Oh, oh, I hadn't thought of that. They'll be gnawing away at the... Well, there's a, there's a good air gap. I've got slabs in the four corners. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a, an air gap of about three inches uh, between those joists. Right. Uh, so, and nothing's going to be put underneath there so the wood can breathe. Okay. So I'll be able to keep a good eye on I mean, on it's that. good weather-wise, but oh, yeah. uh, just something to be aware of. You might need to take precautions, you know, with uh, using suitable... Yeah. Rodent repellents or whatever yeah, okay. under well, there. Keep an eye open for yeah, that. yeah, or even foxes, you see. Yeah, there's nothing much in the shed yet, but yeah. it will be useful. Because they'd, sure. they'd love that to bore under there, bit, dig it in and have a, have a set under there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've just had some manure delivered. That's right, I had two loads did it delivered last year uh, and they were spread, nearly all of them were spread all over the plant. Um, but I left some here and there okay. uh, to plant marrows in right. and pumpkins. Yeah, you've got and courgettes in it. And so. courgettes, yes. And, and we've had quite a good crop of those. Yeah. And I'm just starting to clear the ground of yeah. those plants now. And you probably have no little choice, to be honest, because uh, last night we did have a good frost. Um, well, at least it was, it was well, all the cars were frozen when I was out. And, uh, yeah, no, I and the grass was white in places, so... Yeah, I can see the leaves are starting to yeah, go yeah. white they'll now, so. soon, if it's caught them, they'll soon change. Yeah. You'll notice the difference within a couple of days. Yeah, well, I, I, was, clear, I was clearing this away, um, and I was taking the rotted manure from underneath and putting that on the beds down at, at okay. the bottom end of the plant to try and improve the soil. And I'll be doing that with the, um, the bed here as well. Right. See, you've still got some marrows, yeah. quite nice size there, haven't you? Good, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Look at that one in there. Oh, yeah. That's quite big. <laughs> Look at this one. Good grief. Good oh, God, no. folks. That's a massive one. Hey, look at these. I know. Didn't know they were there. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't know they were there, folks, and they're, they're <laughs> two feet long and about ten inches. Yeah. Look at that. What are you going to do with all these, Nigel? I, I don't know. Um, perhaps I'll be able to find people to, to give them to. I can I can make wine with some some of the marrows. Right. Marrow makes some nice wine, but uh, I've already got a, a, a wheelbarrow full of marrows. Right. <laughs> Right, well, I can see straight away there's a big difference on here from this time last year, Nigel, when you... Well, yeah, I had, I had lots of problems to start with because the wa the, um, the site was waterlogged. Yeah. But you can see I've got a, a drainage, drainage channel down channel, there, which yeah. has helped. And every yeah. time it rains, you can see the water flowing yeah, away yeah. now. I've put quite a few trees in. Lots of manure. 
Yeah, lots of manure, and you can see I've put wood chip on the footpaths. Yeah. And this is working really well because uh, it's quite spongy now, uh, um, rather than concrete-like yeah. when you walk on it. Yeah. And when you get weeds in it, they're dead easy to get out. Yeah. Very, very easy to remove. That actually um, decays down, doesn't it? After two to three years, yes. that will be like very fine soil. Oh, yes. I won't put any wood chip on the actual um, growing area. No, but no. Only on the footpaths. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I can see you've got what five, six, seven, eight, about about a dozen, fifteen trees. Is it in each? A, about a dozen in each row. Yeah, yeah. I think there are fifty altogether. That fifty, I've put yeah, in. yeah. Uh, there are a few stray apples that have formed. Okay. The trees are very young at the moment. We'll get a probably get a, a proper or well, the start of a crop next right. year. Right. These two-year-old ones. Uh, two and three. Yeah, yeah. And I can see you've prepared, ready to get some more trees in. Yes, we've been growing potatoes down here, uh, but I've been warned not to grow potatoes here again because... The, Disease. Well, it, yeah, but the thing is, um, if you grow apple trees near to potatoes, you, you're running a little bit of a risk, and I didn't know this. There's a, a pest called potato cyst eelworm. Yeah. And apparently, it's not in many of the books, but those little pests do like eating the roots of apple trees. Ah, OK. So I've been told I'll be OK for, for the one year. There won't be any risk of having done that. Yeah. But I mustn't put them in again. OK. So you've got, room, you've, you've got 84 that can go in here. Is that right? <laughs> you've counted up? Yeah, I've already done that. Yeah, yeah. OK. And uh, <laughs> uh, we'll have a couple more beds at the bottom. Yeah. You can see I've been burning some of the... Um, the, the brambles okay. that I have to keep cut yeah, back yeah. and we're going to have three compost bins at the bottom end and you've not started really on that side not yet no, no. yeah I'll probably start putting a few seedlings there um, yeah. when when I've cleared it but it's going to take a while because it's a bit of a struggle to dig this it is very very hard digging okay um, because there's no organic matter in it Right. And so you have to do a little bit each day, and you, you can't really do more than an hour because it's very tiring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I've got, oh, we're collecting rainwater over there. There's no mains water on this plot. Yeah. Let's go and have a look over there. Yeah, yeah, let's go and have a look at that. A bit of, of, of um, roof area on there, and um, these containers were all empty at the beginning of the summer, and they're all full now. And I've used a lot of water on some of the trees. Right. So that's, I think they're 40 gallons each. Yeah. And you can change the uh, the way these these drain. So this is movable. Yeah. So when that one's full, I can divert the flow into the okay. other one. That curious device is quite good at collecting water as well. Yeah. So that's the state of play at the moment. Quite a good spread of varieties here. Um, I've got about six or seven Ukrainian eating apples. Yeah. Um, some some others that I've collected from the hedgerows that are rather good from the Midlands and then some more orthodox varieties a bit more common that people will be familiar with right yeah, if, if people are interested I'll do a list to put in the comments on, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, on the video okay great okay all right yeah, it's a nice quiet place to come and work as well. The traffic's a long way away. Yeah, you got some shelter from the wind. Yes, the or if you wanted along that edge, or where, which way is the wind predominantly coming from? It tends to come from um, that end, that that area, yeah. and, and up there. Okay, so, so from, from perhaps from worth considering having some sort of area down there where you can sit down um, for rest. Yes, uh, away from the wind. Yeah, in the, the way that your cameras, you're pointing towards where the winds come, come yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, well, you've done a good job of that so far, Nigel. Yeah, I'm quite, quite pleased and with Considering progress. the amount of plots that you've got and the amount of projects that you're involved in, 
Yeah, some, and some of those projects are coming on really well. I'm pleased with the Foxton Let's project. Let's go around. Um, we've got a small orchard that we've uh, planted at Foxton on the peninsula. Yeah. And if you um, look around on Julie's videos, you'll, you'll find, I think, three uh, short videos about that. Yeah. And we went to do a bit more clearance there a fortnight ago. And those trees are getting quite well established, so it, it looks very good. Yeah. Next to the top lock. Yeah. Over the, the other side of the canal. And what else have we got? Uh, the people keep asking me about the project, what's happening. That's still our carers project. Well, the carers, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're yeah, we still working meet, on it. We have a meeting about that towards the end of October and we'll know a lot more then. Yeah. Uh, but we're, uh, we don't quite know yet exactly how that's going to develop or how many people are going to be involved. No. But it looks pretty certain that it will go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, we're going to now go over and have a look at his other plot. So we'll say bye bye for this video and uh, the other one will go up not long after this, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, folks. Okay. Bye for now.